Crystal's come all the way from Boston with right leg pain. She's been suffering really solidly for about five years, uh, but eight years total. We're laughing right now here about all the different doctors you saw and how stupid they are. It's crazy. She had an MRI. They failed to tell her she had a broken back, which I find hilarious. So I did an entire x-ray report on her, and you get to see that. I know you guys like those long report forms, so check that out. Um, we treated her, and it's very exciting to see how somebody who's been suffering so long can get better. Like, I like how you do your own x-rays. Um, I feel like, you know, you assess the situation for yourself and you seem to have, like, heard these problems before. Everybody else looks at me like I'm crazy. So, and you just really, like I said, you believe in what you do. And I believe in chiropractic work, but I don't think every chiropractor is for everybody. I know, it's kind of sad. So what's your primary pain, man? Yeah. Um, so it goes down in my leg and so it bothers me like I feel like I walk on a sprained ankle all the time um, So it's like and it, it came out of nowhere. There's no accident guys No, she had this repetitive trauma, but it wasn't even that bad of repetitive trauma And then it just never went away. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. It gets a 9 out of 10 every day mm -hmm. So it's like in my glute down my hamstring in the back of my well my knee in the back of my knee my calves my ankle And then it goes to my feet and then sitting like my SI joint bothers. Well, I haven't laid on my right shoulder since 2013. Like I can't sleep, I can't lay. So everything I do sleep, everything's on my right side. Um, so I just have like a lot of just tightness and pressure and tension and like it kind of just goes down my arm a little bit and tingles. Gotcha, she has headaches three to five times a week. We got treated by a chiropractor just recently and she says they're kind of down to one to two times a week. That's vertigo once a month, heartburn a little bit too. Yeah, I don't sleep. Like I just don't remember the last time that I woke up like restful. Um, I wake up five times a night. She said she was gonna come here, and her friends go, "Don't go fucking to California. Right. We go to my guy." So she right. went to some guy recently. So I went to a guy in Boston because this is supposed to be <clears throat> the most recommended place, and um, he was nice. The place is nice, uh, and he did explain to me like I had some nerve tension and stuff, and he did some neck adjustment and like something called art. And so I will say I do have a bit of relief, like it's not as tight. Fair enough. Fair enough. But nothing. You still, yeah. Your leg. The real, leg. The, the real problem was your leg. Little uh, pain in the jaw too sometimes. Yes. Well, I got recommended to the rheumatologist, and I, you know, went to her, and she's like, "Okay, what's bothering you?" And I'm like, "My SI joint, my glute, my hip," and I just said all like the places, and she's just looking at me like I'm crazy, and she's like, "Oh, so." your knee hurts and I'm like so out of all that like yeah. you just got my knee and so she asked me like do I want an MRI of my knee or my SI joint or my lumbar spine right so I'm like ma'am like you're asking me like I'm here to you as like coming to you as you're the specialist so what do you think like and you're looking at me like I'm crazy like you don't understand what I'm saying or you've never heard of it you know so I was just like you know I know all these places are not injured but what, what do you think? What's the is, connection? Exactly. Yeah. Like, is, your, it, is it my lumbar? What's your schooling teach you? Exactly. 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 I'm like, even I know, you know, if I sprain my ankle, I could possibly have glute pain. Um, but so they gave me an MRI of my knee. Yes. Exactly. That's where it started. And she recommended surgery or something like that? Didn't she recommend surgery or something like that? Uh, the spine specialist. Oh. He was like, oh, yeah, if you want surgery, I can do it. But, you know, that's all I'm here for. Exactly. Just go work out. And she's also fine. had an injection in her back, too, recently, too. I had three injections because by March, I was like kind of walking hunchback. And that guy, he's like, well, there's no such thing as pain free, just painless. We all have pain. So you're never going to be pain free. Knee straight, good. Is that as far as you can go, you're saying? Yeah. So the old crippled ass lady, <laughs> how much pain you're back with that? Uh, that's about a six. Gotcha, go back like this, please. How about that? Uh, no, no pain. No pain? And look at the floor, please. How about that? Um, that I feel in the back of my calf, and that's about a three. What about your neck? I don't feel it. Like okay, look at the ceiling, please. How about that? No. Gotcha. Now, one thing else I want to get in here, I keep forgetting to say, look at her. She's the epitome of health. She actually has really good flexibility for as much pain she's in. I mean, she can't bend over, touch her toes, but I'm sure we're gonna get her back like that this week. But she is in great physical shape. So you can't tell me she's too fat. You can't tell me she needs to work out more. And you can't tell me she needs to be more flexible because she is actually pretty naturally all these things. And so when you guys tell me, if she just worked out more, if she just lost a few LBs, that's all crap, guys. I prove it all day long and you guys are gonna give me crap on this. I just wanna show you this 26 year old, in shape chick and she's still in pain so 
And she has a core too. She goes, my core. And I go, if core mattered, then she'd be not in pain, right? Right. Because you work your damn core. Right. The MRI shows that uh, she's supposed to have some herniated discs. I don't see them. They're pretty small bulges. Uh, but she has a fracture of her L1 spinous process that she just found out today from me. And none of the orthopedists told her. None of the other doctors told her. Nobody even mentioned it, right? No. So I find that funny. And that's the number one thing on a report. That's L1 crazy. fracture. That's great. So she has no clue where it came from. The but other chiropractors that like focused on the L4, L5, L1. Yeah, and uh, herniated discs, right? Because yeah. again, those are chiropractors that chase symptoms, don't work on yeah. cod. She can change right again. That's right. Gotta relax, Cal. Relax. Good. So, what you thought? What do you think? What do you think about that? That's what I came for. A neck crack. A neck crack. Okay. This is fine. Good. Wow. That was good. And she is a self-adjuster. You know, like always, I'm just lifting Crystal up so she doesn't uh, twist or turn. Reminding her not to twist or turn, of course. And just look straight ahead. And we're going to ask her how she's doing. I love this part. It was a good a good crack, so I feel like my... Like, phew, yeah, good. Break. Okay, guys, time to recalibrate. Send her down the hall. See how she's doing. Spread that adjustment out. I feel good. I feel like pressures less pressure in my neck because I always feel tense in my neck. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, that was uh, you couldn't even do that at all. No. So generally, I say this is who's your daddy kind of thing. <laughs> it's always my kind of go-to um, joke when I, that happens. Yeah. No, like I mean, I feel when I go down like that, like I still feel a pull in my leg, but it's not. It, Clearly, I can six. go further. Clearly. Yeah. Um, I just increased your range of motion by what? You did. A thousand percent. That was just definitely like, over fifty yeah. percent. Yeah. Exactly. Let's try it one more time. Yeah. Just please. How about that? Uh, no, no pain. No pain. And look at the floor, please. How about that? Um, that I feel in the back of my calf, and that's about a three. What about your neck? I don't feel it. Like, okay, look at the ceiling, please. How about that? No. Gotcha. Now, one thing I also want to get in here. I keep forgetting to say. Look at her. Like I kind of, kind of want to keep doing it because now I get like you know when you get a good stretch in your leg, <laughs> I feel yeah. like a good stretch in my leg. So you guys are wondering how I can do that, right? I didn't stretch her at all. So you're gonna say, well, she stretched twice, and that's why she's more flexible. No, she's been trying that all day right, long, right? Right. And so the reason that happens because the brain is now shut off for the muscle back here, so the nerve is no longer firing. So it turned off, and so now she can be flexible. And I know it doesn't make any sense to you guys, but I just helped her back that she's had for months and months and months with just a neck adjustment. Right. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and go back like this. Yes, yeah, that's, that's good. Good, look at the floor, please. That was a three. Well, I don't feel it in the back of my calf when I go down. Cool, right? You see him? That's good. Good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, I left here and I FaceTimed my dad and I'm like, so you're not gonna believe me, but I'm walking and I don't feel like I have a sprained ankle. So like I didn't really feel anything going down my leg and I don't remember the last time that I did. I walk like that, so I, I felt great. Um, I just, I went to my hotel room and I sat up in bed for about a half hour and then of course the pain kicked in again, so I'm like, oh, okay. okay. So how much better was that sleep compared to? That was, I mean, that was over 50% better. Whether it's bones or muscles first. Oh yeah, they thought, they said muscles. Like, I'm like, okay, so what do you think about chiropractic work? I'm like, do you think it starts with the structure of the body, like the bones? Like, no, what, what covers up the what covers up the bone? I'm like, muscle, they're like, exactly. So like, you know, when the muscle is just like off and like the whole body, I'm like, okay, so you don't think everything connects in the body, like, but. Gotcha, right. so then we talked about this and she, that's her, her, her um, trainer was like, ah, he believes this shit, right? But I go, okay, well, if he was so right, Look at this chick, again, in shape. Have you gone to massage therapist before? Plenty of time. Plenty of time, right? Have you had your muscles worked on before? Plenty of time. Stretched all the time, right? Yes. Should you be in pain or not in pain if your trainer is correct? I would be, I'll be great. I'll exactly. Be yeah. And so what have I done on you? I just worked on your structure. Mm-hmm. And how much better were you yesterday? I'm you walked for the first fine. time and, okay. Let's go this way. I'm sick.
sitting um, better without pain going down my leg. It's taking more time for the pain to like come in when I'm sitting down. But even if it does come, it's very like minor. It doesn't really bother me as much. And I was able to sit at a desk today, read my book, take my notes, do my homework without like any pain. Like it was no pain at all. It didn't kick in at all. How much faster was that homework than usual? It was so much faster. I wasn't doing all this weird stuff, standing on my head, trying to get my homework done. Um, I got it done and I got to Hold concentrate. On. You stand on your head? I want to know which hairstyle you like the most. <laughs> <laughs> so leave your comments about which hairstyle you like the most because we're working through this. So we're going to look at x-rays. Let's go. Just a small jog to the x-ray room. And you see how she's a 13.4 degree scoliosis to the right, right? And so you would appear, it would it would appear that she should be leaning to the right, but she's actually her head is 8.7 millimeters to the left. So it's a little counterproductive. So there's definitely an imbalance that caused her to do this, and that's coming from the brain stem. And it's unwinding quickly. And I almost can guarantee that if we took another set of X-rays on her, she'd be leaning to the right in the future. Okay, because this scoliosis is going to be pretty powerful. It's going to throw her off to this side. But again, she is so off balance, her brainstem is so um, influenced that it's throwing her off this way. Um, this arrow points to her TMJ, so you see how there's less space here, more space here. So her right jaw is out, meaning her jaw is shifted to the right. Why is that important? Well, if you sleep and you grind your teeth, or you clench your teeth, or your, your jaw pops, that puts pressure from your jaw into your neck, and that pressure in your neck can throw everything out. I don't clench my teeth. Why? And so it's off, and so that is something long term that needs to be sort of addressed. It's not a dental thing; it's still a pressure thing. And so, but again, clenching and grinding of teeth will put pressure on your neck, and that's an important um, distinction. You see how the right shoulder is lower over here, 9.2 millimeters. Yeah. So again, her body wants to do this, lean to the right, but she does this. That's really, really hard to do. It's really hard to um, have the head go one way and the shoulder go the other because the body naturally wants to fall to the side of the same side of being short. So again, this presentation shows me how much pressure is in her spine. I forget if you knew you had a 16 degree scoliosis in your back. I definitely did not. Yeah. So I think that's something you should have known, right? I mean, that's something that somebody, anybody, even in the um, most mundane chiropractor out there would be like, oh, you have scoliosis in your back. This is not the cause of your pain, but this is definitely an issue, right? Okay, so she also has spina bifida here too. So see how this bone, this this thing is a, these are solid little bones right here, spinous process. There's a separation right here. And so it doesn't grow together. And so there's a separation right here. So that, I was born with that. Yeah, you were born with that. Uh, right leg's also shorter. So again, your whole mm -hmm. body's falling to the right, yet your head's like this way. The MRI clearly states, and okay, hold on, let me think. Again, chiropractors, when you look at MRIs, the impressions is what you want to look at. Impressions is the key component of that. It'll break down all the other stuff in there, but if you look impressions, that's the radical stuff. That's the only thing that really matters. She has a fracture right here. You can see it right there. And so none of her chiropractors even told her this, or doctors even told her this. She found this out from me. And the funny part is it's actually on the MRI, yeah. written on there. Now you also have a little bit of a compression fracture, not a pure compression fracture, but you see how this bone is wider in the back and narrow in the front. Mm -hmm. Wider in the back, narrow in the front. Mm -hmm. These are compressed a little too. So this whole area was impacted years ago. No arthritis of this yet, but there will be arthritis in the future. This will wear out faster. This is why we take x-rays chiropractors. Um, I hope you guys take uh, x-rays and I hope you guys who go to chiropractors make them take x-rays because this is why we take x-rays because you want to see where the problem is. Just because you adjust the spine doesn't mean you're just in the right part of the spine. So her neck should look like this yellow line right here. Okay? Oh. And you can see how it doesn't. Now this is called a high reverse curve in my book. And that high reverse curve, the upper part of the neck is where we have to focus. You focus on down here, you're wasting your time. Up here is where the problem is. <clears throat> and so why is that important? Well the more this deviates from the norm, it pushes, pr puts pressure on this atlas. And you can see how this whole bottom side is like a potato chip. It should be straight like this, yet it's kind of curved. And this whole bottom end right here has even a little lip to it. So she hears this as grinding as sandpaper when she moves her head back and forth for years. When you do this, and that's grinding of those two bones like this. And why is that important? Well, the brain stem fits right in here. And that brain stem gets irritated the more that thing is pushed on. And so that will throw your balance off. But again, the 
key to this x-ray is where the reversal is. The reversal is a high reversal, which means it puts an abnormal amount of pressure on the atlas. If it's a low reversal, it puts less pressure, but this is a high reversal, so it actually, it actually does more damage than most. Now that we've looked at our x-rays, let's get back to room two where we're gonna get her adjusted. Here's C2, you can feel how sensitive that is right there. Yes. I'm gonna go right there, see that? That's where the high reversal is, guys, so that's where her tenderness is. Now we'll go to the low ones to show you the difference here. I'm pushing on the low ones. Pain. No pain compared to this up yeah. here, right? Yeah. This up yeah. here. And so C2, C3 is the area, and she doesn't like, doesn't like it, exactly. So I'm gonna push on her S2, I mean C2 again. Okay, tender, but how much, is it less? Yeah, no, yeah, man, it scratched yeah. my face. Yep, so I'm pushing on the exact same pressure, C2, C3 right here, guys. And the reason it's not as tender is because I pushed it back into a line, which means there's less tension on the muscle, less tension on the joints, less tension on the ligaments, and it happens instantaneously because I'm forcing structural change. How much better are you so far? I would definitely say about like 65, 70% better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, For a long time? it's been actually good. Like, I'm not even- Did you say you used to wake up four, or you went up three to five hours? I woke up at least like five, six times a night, and yeah. I'm waking up twice, but like for like bathroom. Feeling like I have a sprained ankle. That's like pretty much gone. How about right hip? Um, that's pretty much like gone. That's fine. My upper. My well, upper remember system. this is what you. I always have this, Doctor Thayer. Yeah, I know. You know my leg is while I'm here, but I've always had this since 2013. Yeah, How's no. your right shoulder and your right arm? I feel right trap. Like I don't feel tense. I Anymore. feel very relaxed. And last one, the headaches. Three three headaches a week. How are your headaches? I don't really. I haven't had a headache. Let's yeah, get cracking. Let's, let's get cracking. <laughs> 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 what was that like, Crystal? I felt like that was gonna be something. That was something. Yeah. There was a nugget in them there hills. 